Let's talk about Whirlpool. They did have a bit of unusual activity in this one as well, um, but it didn't overcome the open interest on that particular day. But if you look at the chart or you look at this, you see those two arrows on June 12th, most recently, June 12th, traded 3.4 million shares. It averages 1.3. So we're talking about three times normal volume. You think somebody that knew about this Bosch deal coming in, perhaps, still not with certainty, but very strong possibility that Bosch is making a run at them. I guarantee the people that bought those calls are cashing out, Pete, cha-ching, because that's what you do when you get that opportunity. And you have to have that discipline, right, Pete? Absolutely. We talk about discipline all the time, and it starts at the beginning of the day and ends at the end of the day, and you have to be disciplined throughout the day. And it's it's why we preach about that, because that actually, you know, does move over into your business life. And that's what we're talking about here, we're talking about money and people investing and everything else. And sometimes those options really can be incredibly telling. But with Whirlpool, with Bosch, this is pretty interesting, John. And you you were talking about this just before we came on. We were talking about, man, if Bosch is able to get this to happen, and we're talking about a, a market cap right now, Whirlpool, north of $5 billion. So this is a pretty decent sized deal if it were to happen. Mm -hmm. um, it really turns Bosch into the, the lone wolf, right? I mean, they will own it. <laughs> and that could be something really incredible. But it's interesting because Whirlpool has been a bit of an underperformer. When you really look at where they've been 52 weeks, John, at call it 100 bucks, they're somewhere between 84 and 160 over the last year. So this is a stock that if they're able to do something down here, they might be getting Whirlpool at a pretty damn good deal. So yeah. it would be interesting. And if you're Bosch and you're able to get this thing for somewhere close to maybe that $100 level, maybe they have to pay even a little bit more, depending on what premiums look like and the debt and everything else, I think it really could be a very, very interesting takeover candidate. And it makes sense for Bosch. There's no doubt about that. Doesn't mean it's going to happen. But it sure does make sense. And I think that's why we're seeing so much activity and so many people talking about that Bosch is kind of kicking the tires, so to speak, right now. Yeah. And I guarantee you, uh, loose lips sink ships. And <laughs> somebody had some loose lips in this one. I'm not accusing, but I'm saying it certainly has all the earmarks of somebody trading on tomorrow's newspaper today.